dear clients, I'm Richard, Assistant Dealing Manager from Philips CFD. US equity benchmarks diverged last week as S&P 500 and Dow Jones Industrial Average retreated modestly, whereas Russell 2000 and Nasdaq Composite ended the week on a small positive note. US small caps and long-duration tech-oriented stocks seem relatively more insulated from global growth worries and are able to draw more comfort from the Fed's tactical decisions to delay the rate hike on last Thursday. Indeed, domestic data such as housing, employment, retail sales, etc. on the US economic front appears to be on a steadier trend when compared to the fluttering growth of the global economy. For instance, the National Association of Home Builders Housing Market Index continued its steady rise to 62, its highest reading since November 2005, indicating the continued rise in U.S. builder confidence. This was also reinforced by U.S. jobless claims numbers, which declined to the lowest level in two months. In fact, it had been staying healthily below 300k for most of this year, and that reflects a resilient labor market. From the cross-asset price actions, the US Treasury market also suggests a tussling between favorable domestic news and adverse overseas developments. For instance, US Treasury 10-year yield rose during early week, only to tumble down on news that Fed has kept rates on hold, citing recent adverse global economic and financial developments. On a concluding note, we noted that some investors have attributed the equity market's early week run-up to market's anticipation of the likelihood of a rate hike delay. Notwithstanding this, its actual announcement seems to have undermined market sentiment somewhat, as investors get increasingly concerned over further implications of the China slowdown, as well as a persistent low inflation environment. Nevertheless, what we are certain of for now is that the Fed rate high drama will continue. According to CME Group Fed Watch, March 2016 is currently the earliest month where we may likely have a better than even chance of that elusive rate hike. Clients may consider using Philips CFD to trade equities and indexes across markets to capitalize on trading opportunities in both rising and falling markets. In addition, you may also trade using many more benchmarks based on different strategies which are available with Philip ETFs. This is all for today and hope to see you soon in our next round of market commentary. Thanks for watching.